This video is created by Jagrat Creation, useful to the students who are reading for inter-CA, a Fabicom and professional courses who has got this chapter in the syllabus, insurance claim for loss of stock. Before I start with the sum, let me give you the theory hints for the purpose of solving the sum. To find out the stock existed at the moment of fire, we are required to prepare a memorandum trading account and this stock existed at the moment of fire is useful to us for the purpose of finding out the amount of insurance claim under over insurance or under insurance situations. Now memorandum trading account is prepared to find out the stock existing at the moment of fire if the normal rate of gross profit is given. Normal trading account is prepared for the whole year. Memorandum trading account is prepared till the date of fire means not for the whole year. The purpose of normal trading account is to find out the gross profit. The purpose of a memorandum trading account is to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. But in case of memorandum trading account, the normal rate of gross profit is available. Suppose that if it is not available, then we get that by preparing the trading account for the past year or years. If you have prepared a trading account for more than one or two years, more than one year in past, you can find out the average rate of growth, average rate of gross profit, and that average rate of gross profit can be applied to the memorandum trading account that we intend to prepare till the date of fire. This is how the memorandum trading account is prepared. Opening stock, purchase of goods only for which the delivery has been received, wages only for operating activity, sales, only those sales are recorded for which the goods have been delivered. Goods delivered at cost other than sales, which includes goods taken for personal use, goods given for charity, goods distributed as free sample. These are the various ways by which the goods go out that is recorded here at cost or they are deducted from the purchases. Now, the rate of gross profit that we have worked out on the basis of past trading account, that rate of gross profit will be applied to the sales till the date of fire. And this is how gross profit is recorded in this memorandum trading account. Total of this minus this goods outgoings, you get the stock at the moment of fire. This is how the memorandum trading account is prepared. Now after explaining these things, I want to start with the sum. Please read the sum carefully. Then I shall start solving it. The first important point to be observed in this sum is you are not given the details of gross profit or percentage of gross profit. Instead of that, though the fire has occurred, fire has occurred on 29th of August 2015, you are given the details of opening stock and closing stock of 1415. You are given the details of purchases for the year ended on 31st of March 2015. So you are required to prepare a trading account for 2014-15 that is past year. Find out the gross profit therein. Find out the percentage of gross profit on sales in that trading account, previous year's trading account. And that rate of gross profit is to be applied to a memorandum trading account that we are going to prepare till the date of fire. So the important point to be observed by you is the rate of gross profit is not given. We get that by preparing a trading account for the last year, that is for the year ended on 31st of October 2015. This trading account is to be prepared as a working note. Notice it. Now let me start. So here I have prepared memorandum trading account that is trading account till the date of fire. Date of fire is 29th of August. So this trading account is prepared from 1st of April to 29th of August. This is a trading account that has been prepared to find out the percentage of profit on sales in past. I start with the sum. Stock on 1st of April. That will come here in the previous year trading account opening stock. This is the closing stock. So this closing stock is the closing stock in the previous year and that's the opening stock in the current year. So opening stock and closing stock. This is a closing stock. 
So closing stock was on 31st of March 2015. Is the opening stock on 1st of April 2015. So this is how this is how it gets recorded. Then purchases for the past year. Purchases till the date of fire that I will write in the memorandum trading account. From that cost of goods distributed as sample will be deducted. From that cost of goods withdrawn by trader for personal use also gets deducted two thousand. So this is the net purchases available for sales. Now sales for the year ended on thirty first of March. This sales will come in this trading account. Here you are given sales till the date of fire. Now on the basis, the purpose of this normal trading account is to find out the gross profit. Well, the purpose of this memorandum trading account is to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. That's an important. This is an important difference to be noticed by. So a total of credit minus total of debit, gross profit, twenty four lakhs is the gross profit on a sales of eighty lakhs. So for eighty lakh sales, twenty four lakhs is the gross profit. How much four hundred? So percentage of profit worked out twenty four lakhs divided by eighty thousand into hundred. That works out to be thirty percent. So we earn a profit at the rate of thirty percent in past. We hope to repeat the same percentage of profit in the current year. So this thirty percent will be applied to the sales. So forty five lakh thirty six thousand into thirty percent. So this is the gross profit. Now the gross profit is recorded. Here we want to find out the stock existed at the moment of fire. So total of debit minus this forty five lakh thirty six thousand stock on the date of fire. So eight lakh. And the two thousand six hundred is the stock at the moment of fire. How are, how we worked out? Fifty four lakh eighteen thousand six hundred minus forty five lakh thirty six thousand. Now how much is the insurance there against? The insurance policy is nine lakh, so there is an over insurance. When there is an over insurance, average close need not be applied. So here, value of stock destroyed by fire that we want to work out. From that, stocks are. This is the value of stock destroyed by fire. Not it's not a value of stock destroyed. It is stock subject to risk by fire. Minus stock salvage plus expenses to mitigate the fire. That is to be added. It's a claim. So total amount claim from the insurance company eight lakh eighty two thousand six hundred minus stock salvage plus fire fighting expenses. This is the claim. This amount of claim is less than the. Insurance coverage. So, what happens? Since the policy amount is more than the claim amount, the average clause will not apply. Therefore, claim amount will be seven lakh seventy nine thousand three hundred will be admitted by the insurance company. This is how the insurance claim gets worked out. Observe. First, I found out the rate of gross profit that is applied here. Then found out an average clause if applicable that is being taken care of. I feel that you have followed this sum. Thanks to all of you.